Welcome. How much money can you actually make owning a franchise? Is it worth it to invest money, take out a loan, or even quit your job in order to open up a franchise? All right, guys, so there's two main things you need to know about figuring out how much money you can actually make owning a franchise, and I'm gonna tell you those exact two things, what to look for, how to find it, what to ask later on in the video, so make sure that you stick around. Besides how much money can you make is how much time and effort do you have to put into the franchise for that amount of money that you make? Well, if you're new here, my name is Tarek Johnson. I built a multi-million dollar franchise business with multiple locations in California and Florida. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how much money you can actually make owning a franchise. All right, so let me just cut to the chase on this and let's talk about how much money you can actually make and then I'll go on and explain so you can have all of the information behind it. Here it is. One, not all people actually make money owning a franchise. Believe it or not, you can actually lose money owning a franchise. Owning a franchise is a business. It's possible for you to run an unprofitable business and wind up losing money and wind up having to close the business down. So now we got that part out of the way. Now, how much money can you make if you're profitable? Well, it all depends. It depends on you. It depends on the industry you're in. It depends on the franchise. It depends on how you run the business. But overall, a realistic type of return is 10 to 30% profit margin on your sales. Again, that's just an, that's like an average number. It's gonna really depend on you and your business. And so that's exactly what we're gonna talk about and cover. And I'm gonna explain how that works and in different industries, what that actually looks like in terms of a profit percentage and all of the different items that affect that profit margin and how you can maximize actually making the most money owning a franchise. And guys, before we jump into the real meat of the video, when my wife and I opened our first franchise location in California, we invested about $300,000 to get that franchise location open. We actually got it profitable in the second month we were open, doing over $30,000 in sales. There was a reason why we were able to get the business profitable so quick. I wrote a 23-page guide. It's a free ebook. It's called My 7-Step Blueprint to Business Profits in 60 Days. I'll post a picture right here so you can have a visual of what it looks like. But in that blueprint, I detail out exactly how you can build a profitable franchise business or any type of business in any industry. So make sure you go grab it. You can get it from my website, tarikjohnson.com, or I'll leave a link in the description as well as a comment below. So make sure to stick around for the video and then make sure you go get it. That guide is step-by-step -step exactly how to build a profitable business. Because again, everyone does not build a profitable franchise business and it is vital if you're investing that much amount of capital that you get profitable and you get profitable right away. And guys, it's possible once you start building up your franchise business and empire, you can become like this guy. He built a $20 million a year franchise business. Granted, he's been operating in his business for about 20 years or so and he owns multiple territories and locations. So at that point, if the guy's making a 20% margin on a $20 million a year business, so you're talking about $4 million a year of potential profit, I think you could live pretty well with $4 million a year. Okay, so here's why I provide this big range of between 10 to 30% profit margins. Oftentimes, and again, it depends on the industry that you're in, but like as an example, food businesses tend to have a, they tend to be a lower margin business. If you're in a retail type of business, so if you're looking to open a franchise that has a physical location, a retail shop, a retail storefront, well, the likelihood is that your profit margin potential could be lower if you're not producing a certain amount of sales or a certain amount of income. Now, the most important thing to note first about thinking about how much money you can actually make owning a franchise is you have to figure out the difference between what you bring in in sales and then what you actually make and keep as a profit margin. So someone could build a million dollar business, right? They build a seven figure, 
$1 million a year franchise business, they go, hey, I'm making a million dollars a year in my business. BS, you're not making a million dollars a year in your business. You might be generating a million dollars in sales in your business, it's your profit percentage that counts. If they're at only a 10% profit margin, you could be doing a million dollars in sales, but you're only making $100,000 a year in profit on a million dollars in sales because you're at a 10% profit margin. As another example, you could have someone that is doing a $500,000 a year business. Maybe they're doing some sort of consulting business or they have a labor type of business. Maybe they have a roofing business. And then they have a couple of employees, they're very actively involved. They're doing $500,000 a year in sales at a 30% profit margin. Well, guess what? That individual is making $150,000 a year of profit. So it's really important when asking yourself, how much money can I make? And owning a franchise is really have to think about one, what type of sales is the business bringing in on average? And what is the average type of profit margin? Now, I'm gonna go over in just a second how you figure out what the average profit margin in the business is, so make sure you stick around for that. Guys, if you're getting value out of the video, please make sure to hit the like button below. It actually helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more and more people. So again, just go ahead and hit that little like button down there, and this is gonna... YouTube is gonna show this video to more and more people. Also, drop me a comment below and tell me how much money would you love to make owning a franchise or owning your own business? And then also, if you have any franchise questions, drop me a comment below because I respond to all the comments personally. And last but not least, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post a ton of videos on franchise ownership, business ownership, and how you can handle and succeed your money as an entrepreneur, so make sure to subscribe to the channel below. And then guys, if you're getting value out of the video, make sure you subscribe below. All my videos are about entrepreneurship and franchises, and the reality is, is that I give you some of the insider secrets. I give you a ton of information that you really cannot find anywhere else around franchise ownership and business ownership. I really bring you in on the insider secrets. So here's the thing, in figuring out how much money you can actually make in owning a franchise, it's kind of like going down the rabbit hole. I actually made another video called Most Profitable Franchises, How to Find Them. And there's some really good information where I really go into a deep dive of how you can find the profitable franchises. So I'll leave a link in the description below and you can go watch that video. But when it comes to finding out how much you can really make in owning a franchise, there's two main things that you need to do. All right, so let's talk about those two items in finding out how much you can actually make in owning a franchise, what I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So number one is the FDD. The FDD stands for Franchise Disclosure Document. If you're not familiar with those terms, basically every franchise company has to have an FDD. It is required by law. In the FDD, there's a section called item 19. Item 19 is where the franchise company has the opportunity to disclose financial information or financial representations about the business. Now, keep in mind, some franchises do not complete item 19. So if you're looking at a franchise and they don't have item 19 completed, that means either one, you're gonna have to do even more layers of research and find out from the franchise owners what type of sales, or you're gonna to have to try to ask the franchisor and find out what type of average sales. But if they didn't put it in item 19, they probably can't even tell you because of the laws that exist around it. So that might be something that's a little suspicious or something to be weary of if the franchise company is not disclosing item 19 in their FDD. But in item 19, most of the time, the franchise company is going to list the AUV. AUV means average unit volume. It just basically means what each location, what are their sales on average? So if they have 100 locations, the average of all of the stores are let's say $500,000 a year in sales. Most of the time, what the franchise companies do is they'll list 
The top 20% of stores, this is their average sales. The top 40% of stores, this is their average sales. And then the top 80% of stores, these are their average sales. So they list it out like that. Now, when you're looking at it to try to figure out how much money you can actually make in owning the franchise, try to stick with more of like the median number, like the top 40 or 60% of stores. If you calculate your potential profit based off of that number, you're setting yourself up for success more than if you plan for being a top performing store and trying to plan on your profit being off of that number. Does that make sense? I mean, if you plan that you'll only make $100,000 a year in your business, but then you wind up running a top store that makes $150,000 a year, that's a much better situation than if you plan on making 150 and then you only wind up making 100 and you are really depending on that extra $50,000 of income. So what you want to so what you want to do once you determine what the average amount of sales the franchise units are producing, then you want to talk to franchisees. So in the FDD, it's usually going to list the name and number of other franchise owners. If it doesn't, you can get a list or get some of those name and numbers from the franchisor. Or what you can do if they don't list it and if they only provide you with a few, then just start looking up the franchise locations and just start calling them and seeing if you can get in touch with the owner. I mean, you've got to be as aggressive as possible when you're doing your research about a franchise and figuring out how much money you can make. Because if you're taking out a loan, if you're quitting your job, if you're investing hundreds of thousands of dollars to start this business, you need to make sure that you are doing your research and trying to eliminate as many surprises as possible. Now, when you're talking to existing franchise owners, if you just come out and say, hey man, how much money are you making? How much are you profiting? they're probably gonna not tell you that and they're gonna be turned off, right? I mean, when you're asking people how much money they make, it's generally like a sensitive question. So, and you should assume that other people that are interested in the franchise may be calling that same individual. So, one, build a rapport with the person on the phone, like ask them how they get started, like save the financial questions for later on in the conversation, like after you guys built like a little bit of a connection and a little bit of rapport, they may be more open to giving you information. But here's what, what I would do and what I would recommend. Ask them what they consider to be like a good profit percentage, a bad profit percentage, and a really good profit percentage. Now you're basically getting the answer to your question without them having to feel like they're exposing how much money they make or how much money they don't make in the business, which could be embarrassing for them. So if they say, well, a good profit margin is about 10%, a bad profit margin is 5%, and a really great profit margin would be 20%, then at that point, you know, okay, if the average unit is doing $500,000 a year, then average profit would be about 50 grand, High profit margin would be about 100 grand. Low profit margin would be about $25,000. Now make sure you stick around because I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna dive deeper into that a little bit more. So now once you have a baseline of what the average or good type of profit margin is and low profit margin, high profit margin, then you can start to ask questions about how the different individuals run their business because how much you can actually make in owning a franchise depends on how you operate the business. I mean, you could talk to 10 franchise owners that are making 30% profit margins in their business and they're killing it, but maybe they're actively working in their business. That makes it very different then if you're trying to open a franchise and you don't really plan on being active, so because of that, you have to hire staff to do what the other owners are doing on their, on their own. Does that make sense? So as an example, in a franchise business, there are basically four main costs when it comes to your franchise business. Number one is your labor. Your labor, meaning your employees or whatever you're paying for your labor for your business. So whether it's contractors, whether it's employees, Whatever it is, that's generally gonna be one of your highest expenses. 
how you run your business or how other people are running their business, again, like the example I just gave, will really depend on what type of profit you make. If you have 10 employees, the other franchise owner only has seven employees because the level of effort that they put in and their skill set accounts for three different employees, well, they're gonna make a much higher profit margin, but they're gonna be putting in a lot of time and effort. So you really have to balance out the question of, besides how much money can you make, is how much time and effort do you have to put into the franchise for that amount of money that you make? Number two is your cost of goods. It's otherwise known as COGS. So if, you're, if you ever see COGS, that means cost of goods. As an example, we, my wife and I own juice bar franchises. So our cost of goods were basically things like our food and our supplies. So all of the food, the fruit, the yogurt, the milk, all the things that went into actually making the smoothies or juices or the acai bowls that we produce for our franchise all went into our cogs. The napkins, the cups, the lids, the straws, all those things go into cost of goods. If let's say you own a roofing franchise, a roofing franchise, well, your cost of goods would be your, your materials, right? So think about that when you're thinking about your business. So, so far we have labor and cost of goods are two of the four of your highest expenses when you're running your franchise business. Then you have rent. Rent is oftentimes can be somewhere around 10 or 15% of your sales overall. Now, if the franchise business that you're looking at is a home-based business, you don't have a storefront, or if you're able to get rent for really cheap and your rent is only 5% of your sales and you're one of the top performing stores, well, guess what? Now you're reducing your expenses and you're increasing your sales, which is gonna increase your profit margin even more. The number four of your highest expenses that you're gonna have associated to your business is gonna be your royalties. So most of the time, all in, your royalties are gonna be somewhere around seven to 15%, just depends on the franchise company, but when you take in the regular royalties, the marketing fees that they charge, and any other additional royalty fees that they charge, those are gonna be the top four expenses that determine how much money you can actually make in owning your franchise. Generally speaking, those four items will account for between 50% to 80% of your expenses for your business. So if you can get a really good handle on what those costs would be, when you're looking to open your franchise, then you're gonna really have a strong sense of what kind of profit margin that you can make. Now, if you're still watching this video, congratulations, because nowadays people have short attention spans and they wind up hearing some of the information and they wind up clicking off, but this is where it continues to get juicier and juicier. And kudos to you because it's individuals like yourself that are going to make great franchise owners. Because if someone can't, handle watching a 10 or 15 or 20 minute video on learning about business, then they're probably not gonna be able to be very effective of actually running a successful and profitable business. But some of these items and mapping out the expenses are some of the things that I, I work with on my coaching and consulting clients that I have. Like I will help them go through and create what's called a pro forma, and a pro forma is basically just doing financial projections on what you think you can actually make in your franchise business. It's also something that I cover. It's one of the steps in the seven step blueprint to business profits in 60 days that I mentioned that's completely free. If you haven't gotten it already, make sure that after this video is over to make sure you go download it. Um, again, the link will be below. You can just go to my website, tarikjohnson.com. It pops right up. You just enter your email and you get it for free. But I go over financial projections, what you need to do in order to figure out how much money you can make in owning a franchise is really put together, and it can be pretty basic, you don't need to make this complicated, but you need to put together just a, a rough idea of what your expenses would be based off of what your projected sales would be, and then get a sense of if you're doing this amount of sales, how much profit margin are you making? Here's the thing, the more and more money the business makes, like the more sales it generates, the higher profit you can generate in the business sometimes. Because as an example, if you're paying, let's say 
$24,000 a year in rent, let's say $2,000 a month, and your business is doing $200,000 in sales, well, let's say your business is doing $240,000 in sales is an easy number, you're paying 10% of your sales in rent. But let's say you're able to double your revenues, and let's say you're doing $480,000 a year in sales, but you're still paying that same $24,000 a year for your rent. Now it's gone down to 5% of what your sales are in terms of expenses. So that means that you're gonna generate a higher profit margin as you continue to scale and do more and more sales. So guys, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about figuring out about profitable franchises and how much franchises can actually make, or if you'd like my help, again, I have a lot of clients that I coach and consult with and I help them find franchises, shoot me an email at info at tarikjohnson.com. Also drop me a comment below. Make sure to grab that seven step blueprint to business profits in 60 days and I'll see you on the next one.